Hello! Happy Sunday. Jack Lee here for Dave and Gloria Realty Group. Thanks for joining me on another spectacular virtual open house. Happy hour. I hope you grab a drink and join me as we tour through this wonderful bachelor unit. Please remember to stay home, to stay safe, and to follow our government guidelines. That is why I take the extra time here, uh, our Dave and Gloria team, to showcase these units to you so that you can enjoy them at the comfort of your own home and to be safe. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always ask us online or message me privately after this. So, welcome to Theatre Park. We're at 224 King Street West. Today, we're on the 13th floor. Theatre Park has great location, which I'm going to talk about in one second when I get over there. But this is a five-year-old bachelor building in the heart of the theater district. You're literally right beside the, uh, Royal, the, the Royal Alexander Theater. And you know me, you know how much I love my theater. So on a, a normal time when before pe the pandemic, this would be a bustling, bustling area. So the asking price we have or asking today is $449,000. Uh, offer any time. You don't need to uh, submit a bid on presentation night. We are uh, offering that. So come bring us an offer and we will definitely consider it. The actual square footage of this particular unit is 342 square feet. And uh, it's a five-year-old building. And the building itself has 47 floors and 234 units. It is built by Brad Lamb. Uh, those of you who know Brad Lamb, he used to be a real estate agent and broker and now a successful developer. And Brad Lamb's product tends to be at a higher end. Their finishes are a little bit higher. Uh, he understands the needs of the consumer being from a real estate background as opposed to just a pure developer background. So as I go through the unit, I'll tell you some more about kind of uh, what you expect from a Brad Lamb building. And Brad Lamb buildings, they tend to have a higher resale value. And this one, you have double the higher resale value because one location and two, it's a Brad, Brad Lamb building. So without further ado, I'm just going to take you out into the balcony and uh, let's take a look and begin our tour there. Cheers. I'm drinking uh, white wine today. Now, the first thing you notice about the balcony is how big this actual spaces. You have enough room to actually entertain and do a, a, a dash of dinner party here for like a guest of four or something. And look at this. Gas barbecue included with the unit. That is very, very rare in a downtown condo to have gas barbecue. You can, you can cook things all year round. You don't need to wait until the summer. Uh, when the weather is nice, if you just want to cook a, a steak and just go back in and enjoy, that's what it's here for. Now, we are south facing, so check out this spectacular south view. Right here, you have the Royal Thompson Hall. And uh, in between those two buildings, you will be able to see the lake. Right? Now, if you pan down to, this is King Street on, on down here, going east and west. And if you just uh, flicked over here to the west here, you can catch that it's a sunset in between the buildings. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, you, better, you see the top of the CN Tower as well from, from this angle here. Now, King Street. Everybody knows King Street. Like I said, we're right across, we're right beside the Royal Alexander Theater. And just up the street, uh, we have the Princess of Wales Theater. So this is why it's called Theater Park. What's really special uh, about how they built this particular building, if you look down here, the front of the building, it's a, it's a green space. So it's not just a normal you know, hotel, I mean um, condominium entrance. This green space is actually used for many commun communal events. So in the, in the summer, pre-COVID, you would come here and then they would have, sometimes they have musicians playing, sometimes they have like pop-up shops. Uh, it's very lively. I remember one time I came here during Valentine and it was like all decorated with hearts. So it is really the, the, 
If you like the downtown vibe, it doesn't get any more downtown than this. You're in the heart, heart of the theater district. Uh, you know, Come From Away was playing at the Royal Alex. It's no longer playing there. Many, many different shows. Uh, unfortunately, uh, pandemic is not uh, is not up and running. But when it is back up and running, uh, you will be in the heart of it all. And uh, you know, one thing I I, I used to like to do. Uh, when I was younger, I actually uh, line up for the rush tickets in the morning at the Royal Alexander Theater, uh, and they have them for like twenty-five dollars for like big, big shows like Wicked and and those other shows. So if you live right here, you just go downstairs, you line up, you get your ticket for the day, and then you come back up, and then you can enjoy the rest of the day. So here's a little real estate tip for all of you guys. Uh, again, King Street. Uh, you can go to the subway, the sink entrance, the entrance to the um, St. Andrew station is just up there. And of course, the financial district, right? Uh, all your bank buildings are there, TD, BMO, First Canadian Place, all within walking distance. Um, and of course, the lake is also within walking distance. Everything very, very convenient. Uh, this unit does come with one locker as well. So although it is the bachelor, there is plenty of plenty of storage. Um, so we took the one last look at this wonderful view and this fantastic livable space here for the for the balcony. Very very usable. See, look how look how much space you have here. And uh, sometimes on a on a on a special day, you get this kind of really nice pink and purple uh, hue uh, on the sunset. Uh, if you look at the listing, there's actually a very nice picture of, of the sunset that you can uh, you can reference. Uh, oh, and it's unobstructed, of course, so you're always going to have this. No, nothing's going to be built on top of the Royal Thompson Hall, so so you you don't have to worry about it. It is a cultural uh, landscape, so it's protected by the city. Okay, so this is the bachelor unit uh, right here we have this is this comes with the unit it's it's a couch but it's actually a murphy bed and it pulls out at night for you to go to sleep uh, i have a little picture of what it looks like when it's pulled out here and it's very very easy hmm? queen size. yeah and it's queen size so it's actually quite big so no waste of space here two seconds you just pull it down Take off the cushion, you pull it down, and you, you put your pillows in, and then you're, you're set for the day. In the morning, you just pop it back up. Very, very easy. And of course, down here, there's also additional storage as well. All this is storage down here. So you just pull it out, and it gives you that much extra storage. Here we have built-in television. Easy for you to work at home. Sometimes, um, uh, if you don't want the television set here, you can actually put a desk here and you can work from home uh, at this space here while you're looking out at this wonderful view. Not many, many condos have gas. This is another example of, uh, you know, how they have the end user in mind when they build these kind of, you know, Brad Lamb condos. Uh, they know that people want kind of higher end stuff. So gas in a condo is a bit more on the luxury side. So that's why they have it here. Gas fireplace and gas barbecue. Comes with your hood range microwave. Um, and all the cabinets here, soft closing. Uh, Built-in appliances. You have actually two dishwasher. Um, so if you want to just do like a small load, you can put up down here. If you want a bigger load, you can use both of them or just use the top one. Very, very convenient. And of course you have the oven down here and Granite, uh, uh, granite countertop. Uh, we don't have built-in, but we have a really nice fridge here. Again, like I said, no waste of space. You can have very, very clear division. Uh, in a space like this, I always say you must have very, very clear division about how you want to live. So here you can actually do like office sitting area much like the one we did uh, last week when I sh showcased to you uh, Widmar. So living, sleeping, working if needed. And this whole space here could be, it's for dining. 
um, comfortably fit the two people. You pull that out, put another two chair, four people, non-issue if you want to have a small, small dinner party for your friends. Hmm. Now we have uh, all the track lights and exposed concrete. So this is kind of giving you that downtown soft look, uh, soft loft look and feel to the unit. Some people are not quite into like the really harsh, like industrial conversion hard loft. This is what they call a soft loft. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the modern finishes, but you get some of the uh, loft style um, accents as well, such as these concrete, exposed concrete ceiling. Uh, uh, as we venture here, we have uh, plenty of storage here uh, with the washer and dryer built in. Of course, to live in a space like this, you have to be a little bit of a minimalist. You can't have too much stuff, but uh, if you can keep it clean and neat like this, it's actually a very uh, rewarding place to live. I used to live in a 400 square foot condo, so it's actually really easy to clean and there's less headache to think about. Coming into the bathroom, on this side here, we, we actually have a very big shower. If you want to take a look at the shower. So you won't, you know, the, the square footage of this unit, like I said, is 341, but every inch of this unit is fully, fully utilized. Um, we even have like some shelving here that can come with the unit. And then, of course, here you have the entrance coming in from the outside. Okay, so let's come back down here. Let's sit by the couch and I'm going to talk to you a few things about some investment opportunities for this unit. So, so many people, you know, in a few years ago or last year, the number one thing I hear about uh, from buyers is like, oh, everything is so expensive. I can't afford anything. Uh, prices have gone too much. Toronto, it's getting too high. Well, guess what? Prices have come down. Uh, units like this are upwards of five hundred thousand dollars last year, and now you're we're selling this for four forty nine. So let's say it's like it's a fifty thousand dollar difference from last year. So prices are softening down downtown. So for those people who were complaining that price was too high, now it is actually a good time to get into the unit. Uh, downtown. Uh, right now it has a bit of a exodus from people l looking for the suburb. So that's for those people who actually are willing to take the opportunity to come downtown. That's just the best time for you to buy a unit. This one here, ideal for uh, investors as well as first time home buyer. Uh, at, uh, at this price and our low uh, mortgage rate of 1.7, 1.6, 1.8 or whatever and 20% 20, 20 down, you can actually do a very well with not quite um, uh, neutral cash flow, but very close. Um, and then you ride out the, 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 the rent for the year or so, and then the rent will go back up and then you can cover all your costs. Uh, right now there's about uh, a couple of buildings, units in for rent at this particular building, all in the uh, 05 units. And the market price right now is about 1550 for for rental. Uh, so it's a, it's, it's a good time to buy, uh, whether you're an investor or first time home buyer, this particular type of unit. It's, you know, when sometimes when people talk about bachelor, they, they think like, oh, this is like, how do you live in a bachelor? Well, I actually think this is quite comfortable, um, considering the amount of square feet. If it's designed well and the layout is good, like something like this is actually very, very comfortable because of the outdoor uh, space here you don't really feel claustrophobic at all. Or I never do anyway, when I'm here. Do we have any questions? So the total expenses for each month would be what? Based on a 20% um, down payment. So for a 20% down payment, so you got to factor into uh, your mortgage payment. 
right? Your maintenance cost, which I did not explain here, maintenance cost is actually quite low for this particular unit. It's 270, 247 square feet. Uh, and so maintenance fee, uh, property tax, the property tax right now is 1,572 per, per year. So that's just a little over $100 uh, um, um, a month or a hundred and uh, uh, so a month, 120. Uh, so with all that, and if you can make mortgage payment of, uh, you know, let's say you get it at 1.6 or something like that, and you can do a month, mortgage monthly payment of uh, 1300 plus your maintenance fee, plus your property tax and insurance, your landlord insurance and stuff like that, the numbers can be quite, quite rewarding. Um, of course, I'll be more than happy to actually go through the number with you if you want to have a particular uh, amount in mind or you know what your down payment is, I can actually give you a more accurate answer. What about amenities? Amenities, great question. We have uh, barbecue, obviously, it's allowed in this building. Uh, they have a, like, on top of that little green space that we had out there, uh, they have a pool, outdoor pool, a party room, uh, a rooftop deck, uh, sauna, and gym. And of course, 24 hour concierge downstairs. Uh, very, very safe building. Uh, you're at the, uh, you're at the, the heart of everything. And, you know, even though you're, you're quite core downtown, it's, at this time it's really quiet, but uh, on the weekend it's quite bustling if you like that kind of uh, energy and that kind of vibe to your downtown living. Where is the locker located? Where is the locker located? The locker is located on the third floor. And, uh, and, you know, it's not one of those where you have to go into like the, the underground uh, P1 and, and, you know, walk across the parking lot or something like that. This one is actually conveniently located on the third floor for you to take things up and down, you know, quite easily. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I know uh, I do a lot of these videos. I hope you watch it and, uh, you know, sometimes I don't know who's watching who's not, but uh, if you like these videos, put a thumbs up and uh, reach out to me. Uh, like, let me know what you want to see. If you, if I've done two bachelor units over the last two weekends, if you wanted to see bigger units or you wanted to actually see a house or something like that for me to showcase, I would be more than happy to do that for you as well. Or I can give you a private tour, one-on-one. -on -one. All right. <laughs> All right. Take care. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.